Good morning. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day today, given to us uh, from the Lord. And uh, I'm just standing out here by, behind my house and uh, figured, just reflecting on, you know, you can kind of tell what kind of day it's, it's going to be, and I was just thinking about that. So um, I decided to turn to the Psalms this morning and read to you and just comment on it briefly for today's uh, morning devotional. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord praise ye the Lord and just thinking about this this morning um before we get up and we you know we plan out our day and we start to think about all the chaos and everything we have to walk through today everything we have going on I just reflected on Psalm 150 that we should be thinking about God we should be praising God that the Sun is coming up as you can see behind me if you can hear it the birds are chirping and I believe they're praising the Lord let everything that has breath praise the Lord and if everything in creation is doing what it's supposed to do because God made it that way the creation the Sun the planets everything that God created is doing what it's supposed to do the birds are doing what they're supposed to do. And I believe, you know, once we get on the other side and we see the way creation was supposed to be, we'll hear that those birds are really praising the Lord. That the, the creative things that God made, like the animals, are doing what they're supposed to do. And they're praising the Lord. How much more should we, that are created in His image, in His likeness, to have a relationship with the living God? How much more should we praise the Lord and that's why the psalmist breaks out into this kind of praise and doxology he says praise him according to his excellent greatness praise him and he starts to name the instruments praise him with instruments praise him and dance I'm not much for dancing on camera so I'm not gonna do it this morning sometimes I dance with my daughter but we dance together and praise the Lord but the psalmist is making a point here that we should be excited about the things of God and about what God has done for us. And he ends off the psalm because of his excitement, because of the fact that we can praise God, that we can have a relationship with the Creator, and that everything in creation is doing what it's supposed to do. How much more should we as human beings do what we're supposed to do and be thankful and praiseful to our God and to our King? He ends it off by saying, let everything that has breath praise the Lord everything that's created he's saying let it praise the Lord let it thank God because God made them so everything that is made by God should be praising God and that should be our hope as Christians as we get the gospel message out there get it out there because people are walking around that don't know the living God that don't know salvation in Jesus Christ people are walking around just living for the here and the now they're missing it we should be getting the gospel out there living for Jesus so everything that has breath can praise the Lord God bless you guys have a good Tuesday